so uh, good evening everyone welcome to durga soft online and offline training sessions as of now this batch is online so myself k prakash babu having 16 plus years of experience as a trainer and here i am going to take um, core java it is a fast track batch it is a fast track batch and coming to the duration of this course is almost 45 days 45 days or i can say 45 sessions will be there and coming to the timings of this session is from 6 pm 6 pm to 7 pm or 7 15 sometimes up to 7 30 also so as of now 6 pm to 7 pm up to fundamentals once if the fundamentals got over then i will take from 6 to 7 30 also okay and uh, the fees for this batch is uh, rupees 5000 and i request everyone to please ready to attend even on uh, weekends also okay every weekend we are not going to take the session there are some topics which we need to take on only weekends those things i will give okay but before that let us start our syllabus then you can have a query okay so the coming to the syllabus which topics i am going to cover first we will see introduction to java programming like what is mean by java when compared with other programming languages what speciality is there in java why we need to learn java who introduced that entire background we are going to see here after that softwares required softwares required to run java application if i want to prepare any java application so what softwares are required the all softwares including installation we are going to demonstrate after that steps to prepare java application so if i want to prepare any java application so what steps we need to follow that we are going to see after that you know the fundamentals where keywords will come into the picture identifiers next and after that comments next naming naming conventions okay naming conventions next and after that data types what about the literals what we have and what is mean by type casting next operators next and after that input and output statements input and output statements next we are going to talk about selection statements next iterative statements so next and after that transfer transfer statements next and after that inner loops inner loops are we can also call it as nested loops means what how to take a loop within loop and um, pattern pattern programming like how to print stars how to print numbers alphabets in different different uh, styles so next and after that arrays next we are going to talk about strings regular regular expressions so next and after that collection collection framework okay collection framework so in short form we will call it as a cfw collection framework or it is something like a data structures in java next and after that main concept like oops object oriented programming next exception exception handling next and after that multi threading so multi threading next wrapper classes means what okay next we are going to cover some java new features new features and at last with all these topics one small executable mini project so this is nothing but the syllabus what we are going to cover so first priority will be given for the fundamentals because up to this whatever you are going to learn is very very important because if you are very strong at the fundamentals learning remaining things will become very easy for you okay first priority maximum time i will spend only on these topics whatever i highlighted here so i told one hour only i am going to take the session right 
these are fundamentals i am going to spend only one hours then after that i am going to give the next priority for oops inside this around 50 subtopics are there so java means oops if you learn oops very clearly in java learning object oriented concepts in the remaining programming languages will become very easy so that much easiness will be there in the oops next and after that runtime errors how you are going to handle runtime errors how multi threading is going to be happen wrapper classes these things we are going to see and arrays strings regular expressions collections okay so up to fundamentals and object oriented programming we don't have any special classes on weekends once if these two topics that means 50 percent of the syllabus got completed means remaining things easy topics only i am going to take sometimes not regularly sometimes on weekends and i will wind up so this is nothing but the course details what we have and the syllabus let me give one more information okay so what benefits you are going to get from my classes first thing so we are going to share running notes there is no material sir i am going to share the running notes through which email id you are going to register for that email id only we will share and even recorded videos whatever session it is recording it this will be shared only this one is going to have six months validity that's why once if the class got completed it is highly recommended to watch the video one more time this is my sincere recommendation then i'm going to give some uh, logic building okay logic building uh, programs logic building questions or programs around we have 100 plus programs are there so next i'm going to give some advanced advanced logic building programs advanced logic building programs around some 25 plus questions are there these things whenever the topic is over i am going to share next and after that you will get interview questions you will get interview questions along with answers we have 100 plus videos are there for this next and after that pattern programming pattern programming sir we have around some 100 plus patterns are there okay 100 plus patterns are there but everything i can't cover in the regular class right that's why i am going to cover some 10 or 15 patterns in the class the remaining things i am going to share in the form of videos and even java new features so what are the important features are there okay what are the important features are there that i am going to cover in our regular class like stream api okay how to deal with the streams okay next and after that uh, uh, lambda expressions functional interface default methods okay like important things i am going to cover here and rest of the things will be given in the form of video okay so these are nothing but extra resources which you are going to get so if you spend completely two months on my regular syllabus as well as the programs which i am giving if you focus completely you will become expert in java okay this is nothing but what we have now if you are having any questions please feel free to ask the questions you can also use chat window for communication i will address all the queries so then we will go for uh, um, actual content okay so now it's time for you to ask the questions one by one you can unmute and you can ask the questions Any questions? Mm, hello. Yes. Um, basically, I wanted to learn Java because um, from the point of view of creating JSP pages and servlets. Okay. So, all these things are going to be useful? Yes, madam. Okay, because, because it comes under advanced Java. So, everything... Uh, in advanced java if you have a core java knowledge then only you can able to prepare yes this course is sufficient this course is sufficient or do i need to learn anything else 
No, no, nothing, nothing. It is sufficient, ma'am. Because I know how to work on Eclipse and uh, basic uh, pages and all. But if they mm. give me something more like complicated things, so yes, coding yes, business is logic. Different. If they are giving, you are unable to write. The yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Like uh, we can get things in Chat GPT, but I need an understanding like why we need to do and how we need to do particular things like the CSS and the scriptlets and all that. Yeah, sure, sure. This core Java knowledge is going to be helpful for you to prepare the logic sandal. Don't worry. Okay? Logic sandal, like, is it restricted or like, do I need to learn something more if I want to work on JSP and servlets? No, 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 ma'am. It is sufficient. This but is sufficient because the, yeah, basically I see like it is core Java, same coding. Hmm. Uh, yeah, basically that's what I see. The coding is the same. But there are some complicated issues where I'm getting stuck. That, that that's the thing i'm explaining ma'am ah, complete okay. thing is you need is programming practice yeah, yeah yeah so if you are very strong at syntactical level and the programs then it is very easy everything will become easy only okay mm -hmm. okay okay thank you yeah, yeah. any other questions sir uh, i'm already into web development so i'm python django web framework i have worked so okay. I, I want to extend my origin on Java also. So in Java, I had like a Spring, Spring Boot. So is it the basic course for that? Yes, sir. It is Foundation the basic course. course. Yes, it is the basic course. After that, you need to learn. Yes, you need to go for uh, advanced Java where all the frameworks, everything will come. Okay. Okay. And what is that uh, class? Timing 6 to 7 p.m. One hour every day? Uh, no, 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 sir. Actually, you need to fix the slot from 6 to 7.30. Make your time available from 6 to 7.30. But mm. at the very beginning, for two weeks, I am mm. going to take only from 6 to 7 o'clock. Okay, okay. So, oh. once if the whoops concepts got started, because fundamentals, if I explain very fastly, it is very difficult, right? Mm -hmm. So, that's why I am taking only one hour to cover the fundamentals. Once if the fundamentals got completed, depending on the topic, it may extend. Sometimes one hour, sometimes one hour, 15 minutes. That depends on the topic, sir. Okay? Because it is a fast track batch. Minimum one hour, maximum one and a half hour. Okay? Okay. Apart from this uh, core, Java, I mean, software required for this type. Mm. So, okay. We, for Python, Django, we are using VS Code Extend uh, Editor. Here we are using so many IDEs are there. I will explain every IDE, sir, depending on the topic. Okay, I'm no, Which to... one is your... See, Node.js and uh, Python, <laughs> we use VS Code. For Java, which mm -hmm. one is... Uh, in market, I see a lot of like Eclipse, IntelliJ. So, yes, which yes. one is... Yes. We, even VS Code also we can use, but I will explain that. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. okay, okay. So, whatever softwares I'm, I'm uh, giving guide, just you need to install that properly in your machine and... Uh, uh, practice along with me definitely uh, you will get a uh, control on everything okay it is not that much difficult sir ids are very simple only okay okay one more thing is like see once we get trained on this one core java mm -hmm. so for web development only my purpose is um, uh, web development so java yes. web development spring and spring boot yes Another how much time is it required to learn spring? And Maybe, spring sir, board? another two months, sir, another two months. Why? Because if you are very good at the fundamentals, learning those frameworks is very easy only, syntactically. But building that logics and preparing, deploying that application, it will take some practice. That's why. So for learning that, minimum two months duration is sufficient. So our team is going to provide support in that area also. Don't worry, okay? Are you, I mean, are, are you going to train, I mean, any separate batch is running? For... Yes, it is going to be started on weekends. I will inform you, definitely. Okay. Okay, sir. And how, okay, I am already eight years experience. So, mm. if I get training on the core Java and uh, Spring and Spring Boot, how much experience can I claim in my resume? Uh, any... Sir, that depends, sir, actually. Uh, once if you are good at uh, knowledge, then you can uh, keep some experience uh, uh, on Java projects and you can move. Okay. That depends on Around the four years. So, okay. We can uh, manage four years. Actually, we need to give that real time scenarios also, right? Mm. So, okay. No problem. No, sir. No. I will guide you in that aspect. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. 
so once if the okay. batch got started we will talk personally regarding that okay 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 thank you done sir uh one second there are some questions on the chat window uh, which language will you be used to explain these topics uh, generally i will use english only uh, if you are feeling any very difficulty then in the doubts clarification session uh, we can discuss through english or telugu these are the two languages which i know tamil also okay and one more person hello sir good evening i am karthik what is the difference between core java and advanced java so very simple sir core java means only fundamentals so if you want to be strong in a language fundamentals syntaxes these things are very very important we are going to talk about that only core java advanced java means we are going to prepare some servers in that servers we are going to upload our uh, uh, applications and we will execute that from the server that is different scenario okay so it is next level concept to core java clear karthik yeah any other questions uh, and i need one more confirmation sir everyone comfortable with the 6 o'clock timings right please confirm yeah good right so uh, one important note not one so two points i want to deliver the first point is so the class timings class timings are from 6 pm onwards very very important point so the regular class timings is going to be started from 6 pm maybe 5 minutes delay will be there 6 or 65 in between that i will start note number 2 very very important so be ready be ready to attend classes on weekends also weekends also so that to after fundamentals after fundas got completed so till that i won't take any weekend sessions once if the fundamentals got completed we will start and one more note on every class once if the class or sorry once if the topic got completed we will have a quiz so i request everyone to please participate actively okay and within one minute within half minute you need to select the answers there is some tools are there which we are going to use on this quiz so these things also will be there on the topic wise so let us see who is going to come first second third like that okay so there won't be any prizes but just it is a kind of a practice so before coming to the class you can revise the topics what we covered for example if you take data types today i am going to take data types today and tomorrow so uh, on wednesday at very beginning for 10 to 15 minutes we will have a quiz on data types so to make you very strong in each and every topic we are going to conduct this kind of activity based learning okay and remaining all these things are the extra things that you are going to get from my classes and if you are feeling any difficulty while solving the problems i am going to give how to solve the problems one by one in this logic building and i am going to share all the problems so you have to start doing one by one keep a reminder and take one paper and pen first program completed second program completed like try to do if you are facing any problem so i am going to share my number once if the regular batch started so you can ping me and you can uh, make a question or you can send a voice note definitely i will respond okay with these conclusions i am going to stop this and i will start the topic can i start the cinema please confirm everyone yeah so please participate actively everyone please respond open your mouth can i start yes good so it is not offline right so you can interact more please try to interact more so the first topic actually there are so many theory topics that we need to cover sir like introduction softwares these things and all if i explain now itself so it will become somewhat bore session today i am not going to touch any program just i want to take some theory part which is known to you okay so let me 
write the definition of data types but i have a small question from my end so let us check how many people are going to answer this anyone tell me what is mean by data type in your terms sir whatever you know about data type please let me know so that i will give my definition what is data type hmm anyone what is data type ayyo some people are having knowledge on previous programming also right uh name of the statement okay still any other what is data type okay fine so i can say data type okay data type represents data type represents the type of the data that we are using that we are using in our java program since i am talking about java so i am i mentioned java here even in other languages also the definition is the same so what is mean by data type data type represents the type of the data that we are using in the program sir example someone came they asked sir what is your weight so i am going to give the answer like 82 so they are going to assume that my weight is nothing but my weight is nothing but 82 sir now if you want to take this in program suppose someone asked what is your height i have given my height is so 5.9 something like that so the people are going to assume weight what type of data it is holding sir 82 can i say this 82 is integer type of data yes sir this height is something like floating point data someone asked what is your name i am giving name is equal to prakash so can i say it is of type string have you observed in these three statements so in the above examples in the above example integer float and string are nothing but what basic basic or fundamental fundamental data types i can say these are nothing but what fundamental data types sir weight of a person it must be integer before writing this compulsory you have to declare then only you can handle sir height of a person is of type floating point name of a person is nothing but what type of data he is going to hold a string like that we have of course just for your example sake i have given now we are going to see all these things in detail sir this is nothing but the first part in the data types any questions any questions from this please interact more <coughs> clear ah sir please respond remaining students clear sir yeah please please open your mouths so now i am taking one example or i can say scenario scenario you need to answer for this see i am developing one application like employee management system employee management system ems some some portal or some software i am developing sir for a software company so i asked immediately sir what are your datas what type of what datas that you are going to use in the application they told every employee is going to be associated with some employee id they will have a name and a salary will be there associated with the employee gender is going to be there and whether the person is married or not i am going to store and a mobile number of the person email id of the person address of the person job designation job designation okay so like we are going to have n number of attributes now my question is if you want to implement this particular project tell me for employee id what type of data you will suggest sir it will be what type of data everyone please even if it is wrong open integer. your mouth and tell me integer very good integer so for understandable for every person 
can i use the word called it is a number correct ah please confirm everyone yes. ah uh, tell me name is what type of data letters string yes can i say it is a group of characters yes group of characters is called as something like array that array we are calling it as what string string yeah. means what a group of characters tell me salary is what type group of numbers yes can i say it is not a number something like points points representation will be there can Float. i use the word called yeah real numbers real Float. numbers means yeah. what decimal points will be there got it mm -hmm. gender is what type of data string so in my point of view it is not group of characters single character correct ah huh? m or f can i use the word called i can represent by using character data type we yes. have character character means what how many values it is going to hold one only one if you have a group of characters then it is called as what string string so you mm -hmm. have a definition for that so when you are taking only one character then it is a char if you have a group of characters then it is called as a string tell mm -hmm. me for married who are false right Character. Yes, that one is called as what boolean, boolean. something like a uh, uh, true or false. Okay, or I can say yes or no type of results like that. Uh, mobile number is what type of data? Numbers. Numbers, numbers. So yes. that that's what the problem is. So in the real time, uh, mobile numbers won't be in the number format. See, if you take a mobile number like this, I want to store this. if you store in the form of integer what is mean by integer are you going to do any mathematical operation on this are you going to do any mathematical operation on this no right mm -hmm. suppose if you take integer weight so weight is equal to 82 i can do some mathematical operation what is that mathematical operation if we weight is greater than 90 some message some danger sir if the weight is greater than 80 okay up to certain limit it is okay so if the age is sorry if the weight is so less than less than something like 50 so eat more like that we can display some messages have you observed i can use i can perform some operations if you take mobile number sir i am taking this mobile number if that mobile number is less than or greater than is there any such type of operations in the real time no no but if you observe there are some situation mobile number starting with 9 mobile numbers starting with 98 mobile numbers ending with 3210 or mobile numbers ending with 0 have you observed so these kind of scenarios if you <laughs> mobile number must be what type of data string string this is very very important okay in the movies and all they are going to tell so if a car got accident okay so if they want to identify that car some people are going to tell that the car number is ending with 2 or some car number is ending with 1 3 like that now they are going to search in the system if they give 13 the car numbers which are ending with the 13 is going to be displayed sir how it is going to come in the regular expressions we are going to see such type of programs also so this is nothing but why i explain this entire scenario compulsory mobile number must be what type of data string type of data only hmm. email email what type of data so string address is what type of data string only right group of characters designation manager assistant manager okay like we are going to take string so this is nothing but if they have given anything just we are going to represent first by using the data types only so data type is going to play an important role so we are going to decide what type of data it is going to hold based on data type if you are clear with this employee management system example i want to cover three important note i will go over that any questions up to this yes sir is it clear for everyone please confirm 
right good very good karthik so now first note maybe the terms i am trying to demonstrate that's why i have given the form of note the terms you need to remember what is the first term that you need to remember here is listen what is the first term that we need to understand here is see in java in java programming in java programming we have both primitives both primitives and non primitives non primitives non primitives in the sense what objects so in java we have two types of data types are there sir two categories what is the first category primitives what is the second category non primitives but it is very difficult to use the word called non primitive that's why try to use the word called objects so there are two types of uh, uh, data types are there one is nothing but what primitives another one is nothing but what objects objects are nothing but non primitive only objects are nothing but non primitive only first note second note sir by seeing this term you can understand one word so what is that word is sir in java primitives are going to play major role or objects are going to play a major role can you please guess the answer and tell me which are going to play main role primitives or objects just guess guess your answer primitives or objects which are going to play major role ayyo please tell me objects sir very good so objects are going to play a major role why because why because so java is nothing but what can i say is it object oriented programming so that's why objects are going to play a major role here objects are going to play a major role here okay next point number 2 in java in java we can convert we can convert primitive into objects and objects into primitives we can convert primitives into objects and objects into primitives suppose if you want to convert primitives primitives into objects then there is one concept is there called auto boxing auto boxing and if you want to convert objects object into primitive object into primitive this concept is called as what auto unboxing anyway we are going to discuss in detail about this as of now not required so we can convert object to primitives and primitives to objects at any point of time just for your better understanding i am using some terms sir consider a, sm a small piece of chocolate is there with me a small piece of chocolate is there with me i am calling this one as a primitive so i am calling this one as a primitive once if you are converting that into object just you have to put a wrapper on this once if you keep a wrapper on this it will become a beautiful chocolate this one we are going to project to the outside world which is called as object sir inside object what things will be there primitives only but to convert or to make it available to the real world we are going to use this kind of decoration sir this concept is called as wrapper wrapper classes we have wrapper classes are there by using wrapper classes we can convert primitives into what objects if you convert manually okay if you are not converting manually automatically also it is going to do okay so this concept we are going to discuss as a separate chapter what is a topic name wrapper classes what is mean by wrapper classes so you can represent the primitives in the form of objects for that we are using the word called wrapper classes any questions no sir clear everyone please confirm and last point i mean last note which is very very important and you have to tell the answer for this so by seeing these examples tell me my question is 
the most commonly the most commonly used data used data so in any programming language not only java sir even if you take any programming language tell me by seeing that an anal analysis which is the most commonly used data type sir check the example which is appearing more times can i say is it a string or not sir is it string or not please confirm yeah it seems to be string yes so the most commonly used the most commonly used data in any programming language is nothing but what strings only so this is nothing but three important note points that we need to cover so if you are clear with this that's all introduction to the data types got completed we will start the primitive data types one by one any questions on this introduction part no sir right so the next one we are going to talk about primitive so primitive data types primitive data types or i can say fundamental data types which are primitive data types sir fundamental or basic data types basic data types are called as primitives are called as primitive data types basic or fundamental data types so what is the first data type that we have is integers integers if you want to represent the values from minus infinite to plus infinite those things will comes under what integers if you are trying to represent the values from minus infinite to plus infinite such a type of values will comes under what integer category second one we have real values are there so what is mean by real values sir which is in the form of which is in the form of x by y where x and y are integers only sir example sir 5 is what type of data it comes under integer sir because if you take a integer scale here zero is going to be have and here plus infinite any number of values here minus infinite everything 5 is also appear here right if you take 2 2 is going to appear here but if you take 5 by 2 what output we will get 2.5 so 2.5 is what type of data real value like that there are two divisions are there both are numbers only what is the first one integers which is used to represent the values from minus infinite to plus infinite what is the second one real values which is in the form of x by y any questions up to this is this two are clear please respond okay. clear up to this uh, can you tell the difference once again quickly uh ma'am for example if you take any number for example i want to represent a 10 so without decimal points if you take it comes under integer if you take 10.0 also it comes under real value real value means two parts will be there one is integer another one is point representation so these kind of numbers you have seen right it is also a number but here it is called as what real values and these are called as what integers got okay. it madam ha ah, okay okay thank you next what is the next one that we have is so characters characters so what is mean by characters which is used to represent ascii code or unicode ascii code or unicode ascii code or unicode sir what is mean by ascii code or unicode for example characters means what you know small a to small z so capital a to capital z 0 to 9 that's all right in addition to that we have some special symbols are there okay so hyphen okay hash symbol at the rate all these are also considered as what characters there are two types of characters one is ascii code second one is unicode ascii code means what sir 
the uh, the languages like c and c++ these languages are using some limited character set so those are called as ascii code but java is unicode so java python these languages are going to unicode unicode means the characters which are used in the total universe every alphabet will be available don't worry in the literals i will talk more about this in the constants i will show you all the ascii code characters and unicode so in java which one it is going to follow we have both ascii code as well as unicode so next one is boolean sir what is mean by boolean if you want to take true or false values so i can say this one as logical values if you want to store logical values then we have to go for boolean these are nothing but at the top level what are the four types of data types that we have so let me talk about the full forms of these two things like ascii code and then unicode one second Yeah, sorry. Uh, now you can see what is this ASCII. ASCII means what? So I'm taking the full form. Just remember that's all. American Standard. American Standard Code for Information Interchange. Just remember this. That's all. Okay. And Unicode means universal. Okay. Universal. Universal code. That's all, sir. So these are two forms just try to understand. So at the top level, Java provides how many data types? Four data types, integers, real values, characters, and Boolean value. Integer means what? Minus infinite to plus infinite. Real values means what? Which is in the form of X by Y. Characters means what? Either ASCII code or Unicode. Boolean means what? Either true or false. These are nothing but at the top level, what are the different types of data types existed any questions up to this please confirm no sir clear huh? yes now i have one question for you a is equal to i am taking 123 so b is equal to i am taking a big number like this i have three questions first question both are both are integers both are integers correct anyone confirm yes yes both are integers second question 
so which it takes which container or which variable takes more space a or b which one is going to take more space b, b. same no no b why b. because seems to be very lengthy right mm. so which it takes more time for accessing b b why because let me compare with a simple example there are only three persons are there they can accommodate in one bhk mm. if same three persons purchasing five bhk is meaningless correct mm. same thing if you give the space to occupy three digits it can't accommodate this p if you give space for this entire digit only three digits are going to be occupied for a remaining are waste correct mm. that's why what java people decided is they divided these category these data types into different categories <laughs> like integers are divided into something like a byte short int long, long. and these okay. floating point these real values are divided into so float comma double and these characters characters are divided into only one type that is char and boolean there is no division simply we are calling it as boolean so these are nothing but at bottom level sub level what are the data types that we have anyway tomorrow we are going to see in detail about all these data types up to this any questions clear please confirm everyone yes sir clear right so that's all about today's demo session tomorrow also same demo session will be there join exactly at 6 pm okay please don't delay i will start by 6 5 like that okay so tomorrow also use the same link to continue anyway tomorrow i will revise for 5 uh, minutes and then i will continue the data types topic clear sir yes clear yeah right then see you tomorrow mm. thank okay. you yeah thank you bye